Welcome to official DVSA driving theory test. Updated, UK, 2022. Question 1. What's the minimum time gap you should leave when following a vehicle on a wet road? Give one answer. A. 4 seconds. B. 1 second. C. 3 seconds. D. 2 seconds. The correct answer is A. 4 seconds. Question 2. What does this sign mean? Give one answer. A. End of maximum speed. B. End of minimum speed. C. Maximum speed, 30 miles per hour. D. Minimum speed, 30 miles per hour. The correct answer is B. End of minimum speed. Question 3. What should you do if you want to overtake a tractor, but aren't sure that it's safe? Give one answer. A. Follow another vehicle as it overtakes the tractor. B. Sound your horn to make the tractor driver pull over. C. Speed past, flashing your lights at oncoming traffic. D. Stay behind it, if you're in any doubt. The correct answer is D. Stay behind it, if you're in any doubt. Question 4. Which sign means, no motor vehicles allowed? Give one answer. A. B. C. D. The correct answer is B. Question 5. What messages are given by circular traffic signs that have a blue background? Give one answer. A. They give directions to car parks. B. They give mandatory instructions. C. They give motorway information. D. They give temporary directions during a diversion. The correct answer is B. They give mandatory instructions. Question 6. What does a sign with a brown background show? Give one answer. A. Minor roads. B. Motorway routes. C. Primary roads. D. Tourist directions. The correct answer is D. Tourist directions. Question 7. What does this sign mean? Give one answer. A. Mini roundabout. B. No vehicles. C. Ring road. D. Roundabout. The correct answer is D. Roundabout. Question 8. What does this sign mean? Give one answer. A. No entry for traffic turning left. B. No through road on the left. C. Turn left for ferry terminal. D. Turn left for parking area. The correct answer is B. No through road, on the left. Question 9. You see these double white lines, along the center of the road, when may you park on the left? Give one answer. A. During daylight hours only. B. If the line nearest to you is broken. C. To pick up or set down passengers. D. When there are no yellow lines. The correct answer is C. To pick up or set down passengers. Question 10. Do you need to plan rest stops when you're planning a long journey? Give one answer. A. No, only fuel stops will be needed. B. No, you'll be less tired if you get there as soon as possible. C. Yes, regular stops help concentration. D. Yes, you should plan to stop every half an hour. The correct answer is C. Yes, regular stops help concentration. Question 11. How should you position yourself when you use the emergency telephone on a motorway? Give one answer. A. Face the oncoming traffic. B. Keep your back to the traffic. C. Stand on the hard shoulder. D. Stay close to the carriageway. The correct answer is A. 
Face the oncoming traffic. Question 12. What does this sign mean? Give one answer. A. Cars only. B. Motorcycles only. C. No cars. D. No motorcycles. The correct answer is D. No motorcycles. Question 13. You're on a motorway, a lorry has stopped in the right-hand lane. What should you do when you see this sign on the lorry? Give one answer. A. Leave the motorway at the next exit. B. Move into the right-hand lane. C. Pass the lorry on the left. D. Stop behind the flashing lights. The correct answer is. C. Pass the lorry on the left. Question 14. When would you use the right-hand lane of a two-lane dual carriageway? Give one answer. A. When you're driving at a constant high speed. B. When you're passing a side road on the left. C. When you're staying at the minimum allowed speed. D. When you're turning right or overtaking. The correct answer is. D. When you're turning right or overtaking. Question 15. Which sign means you have priority over oncoming vehicles? Give one answer. A. B. C. D. The correct answer is. C. Question 16. Other drivers may sometimes flash their headlights at you. What's the official meaning of this signal? Give one answer. A. There's a fault with your vehicle. B. There's a radar speed trap ahead. C. They're giving way to you. D. They're warning you of their presence. The correct answer is. D. They're warning you of their presence. Question 17. What will be affected if the road surface becomes soft in very hot weather? Give one answer. A. The exhaust emissions. B. The fuel consumption. C. The suspension. D. The tire grip. The correct answer is D. The tire grip. Question 18. What's the main hazard you should be aware of when following this cyclist? Give one answer. A. The cyclist may get off and push their bicycle. B. The cyclist may move to the left and dismount. C. The cyclist may swerve into the road. D. The cyclist may wish to turn right at the end of the road. The correct answer is C. The cyclist may swerve into the road. Question 19. What's the purpose of these road markings? Give one answer. A. To enable parents to pick up or drop off children safely. B. To enable teachers to have clear access to the school. C. To ensure children can see and be seen when they're crossing the road. D. To ensure delivery vehicles have easy access to the school. The correct answer is C. To ensure children can see and be seen when they're crossing the road. Question 20. Which vehicles are least likely to be affected by side wind? Give one answer. A. Cars. B. Cyclists. C. High-sided vehicles. D. Motorcyclists. The correct answer is A. Cars. Question 21. The road is wet, why would a motorcyclist steer around drain covers while they were cornering? Give one answer. A. To avoid puncturing the tires on the edge of the drain covers. B. To avoid splashing pedestrians on the pavement. C. To help judge the bend using the drain covers as marker points. D. To prevent the motorcycle sliding on the metal drain covers. The correct answer is D. To prevent the motorcycle sliding on the metal drain covers. Question 22. An injured motorcyclist is lying unconscious in the road, the traffic has stopped and there's no further danger, what could you do to help? 
Give one answer. A. Move the person off the road. B. Remove their leather jacket. C. Remove their safety helmet. D. Seek medical assistance. The correct answer is D. Seek medical assistance. Question 23. You arrive at the scene of a motorcycle crash. No other vehicle is involved. The rider is unconscious and lying in the middle of the road. What's the first thing you should do at the scene? Give one answer. A. Clear the road of debris. B. Give the rider reassurance. C. Move the rider out of the road. D. Warn other traffic. The correct answer is D. Warn other traffic. Question 24. At an incident, how could you help a small child who isn't breathing? Give one answer. A. Find their parents and explain what's happening. B. Open their airway and begin CPR. C. Put them in the recovery position and slap their back. D. Talk to them confidently until an ambulance arrives. The correct answer is B. Open their airway and begin CPR. Question 25. At an incident, a casualty isn't breathing, what should you do, while helping them to start breathing again? Give one answer. A. Open their airway. B. Put their arms across their chest. C. Roll them onto their side. D. Shake them firmly. The correct answer is A. Open their airway. Question 26. You're on a long motorway journey. What should you do if you start to feel sleepy? Give one answer. A. Drive faster, to complete your journey sooner. B. Leave the motorway, and stop in a safe place. C. Play some loud music. D. Stop on the hard shoulder for a rest. The correct answer is B. Leave the motorway, and stop in a safe place. Question 27. How can you avoid wheel spin when you're driving on an icy road? Give one answer. A. Brake gently and repeatedly. B. Drive at a slow speed, in the highest gear possible. C. Drive in a low gear at all times. D. Use the parking brake if the wheels start to slip. The correct answer is B. Drive at a slow speed in the highest gear possible. Question 28. You intend to turn left at the traffic lights, what should you do, just before turning? Give one answer. A. Check for bicycles on your left. B. Check your right mirror. C. Move out to the right. D. Move up closer to the car ahead. The correct answer is A. Check for bicycles on your left. Question 29. What should you do if you become tired while you're driving on a motorway? Give one answer. A. Close all your windows and set the heating to warm. B. Increase your speed and turn up the radio volume. C. Leave the motorway at the next exit and rest. D. Pull up on the hard shoulder and change drivers. The correct answer is C. Leave the motorway at the next exit and rest. Question 30. What can you do to help prevent tiredness on a long journey? Give one answer. A. Complete the journey without stopping. B. Eat a large meal before driving. C. Play loud music in the car. D. Take regular refreshment breaks. The correct answer is D. Take regular refreshment breaks. Question 31. You're driving at night, what should you do if you're dazzled by headlights coming towards you? Give one answer. A. Flash your main beam headlights. B. Pull down your sun visor. C. Shade your eyes with your hand. D. Slow down or stop. The correct answer is D. Slow down or stop. Question 32. What's the speed limit for a car towing a caravan on a dual carriageway? 
Give one answer. A. 40 miles per hour. B. 50 miles per hour. C. 60 miles per hour. D. 70 miles per hour. The correct answer is C. 60 miles per hour. Question 33. You're driving on a busy main road. What should you do if you find that you're driving in the wrong direction? Give one answer. A. Make a three-point turn in the main road. B. Make a U-turn in the main road. C. Turn around in a side road. D. Turn into a side road on the right and reverse into the main road. The correct answer is C. Turn around in a side road. Question 34. You've broken down on a two-way road. You have a warning triangle. At least how far from your vehicle should you place the warning triangle? Give one answer. A. 100 meters, 328 feet. B. 25 meters, 82 feet. C. 45 meters, 147 feet. D. 5 meters, 16 feet. The correct answer is C. 45 meters, 147 feet. Question 35. Your car breaks down on a level crossing. What's the first thing you should do? Give one answer. A. Leave your vehicle and get everyone clear. B. Stay in your car until you're told to move. C. Tell drivers behind what's happened. D. Walk down the track and signal the next train. The correct answer is A. Leave your vehicle and get everyone clear. Question 36. How can you avoid wasting fuel? Give one answer. A. By driving at higher speeds, where possible. B. By having your vehicle serviced regularly. C. By keeping an empty roof rack on your vehicle. D. By revving the engine in the lower gears. The correct answer is B. By having your vehicle e serviced regularly. Question 37. You're driving on a one way street. What should you do if you realize you've taken the wrong route? Give one answer A. Continue and find another route. B. Reverse into a driveway. C. Reverse out of the road. D. Turn around in a side road. The correct answer is A. Continue and find another route. Question 38. Your vehicle has broken down on a motorway. What should you do if you aren't able to get onto the hard shoulder? Give one answer. A. Attempt to repair your vehicle quickly. B. Stand behind your vehicle to warn others. C. Stop the traffic behind and ask for help. D. Switch on your hazard warning lights. The correct answer is D. Switch on your hazard warning lights. Question 39. Who's responsible for paying the vehicle tax? Give one answer. A. The Driver and Vehicle Licensing Agency, DVLA. B. The Car Dealer. C. The Driver of the Vehicle. D. The registered keeper of the vehicle. The correct answer is D. The registered keeper of the vehicle. Question 40. What circumstances require you to notify the driver and vehicle licensing agency, DVLA? Give one answer. A. When you have to work abroad. B. When you lend your vehicle to someone. C. When your health affects your driving. D. When your vehicle needs an MOT certificate. The correct answer is C. When your health affects your driving. Question 41. Why are vehicles fitted with rear fog lights? Give one answer. A. To make them more visible in thick fog. B. To make them more visible when driving at high speed. C. To show when they've broken down in a dangerous position. D. To warn drivers following closely to drop back. 
The correct answer is A. To make them more visible in thick fog. Question 42. Why should you try and park in a secure car park? Give one answer. A. It doesn't cost anything to park here. B. It helps deter thieves. C. It makes it easy to find your car. D. It stops the car being exposed to bad weather. The correct answer is B. It helps deter thieves. Question 43. Other than direction indicators, how can you give signals to other road users? Give one answer. A. By using brake lights. B. By using fog lights. C. By using interior lights. D. By using side lights. The correct answer is A. By using brake lights. Question 44. How can you help to prevent your car radio being stolen? Give one answer. A. Install a security coded radio. B. Leave the radio turned on. C. Park in an unlit area. D. Park near a busy junction. The correct answer is A. Install a security coded radio. Question 45. You're driving on an open road in dry weather, what distance should you keep from the vehicle in front? Give one answer. A. A two second time gap. B. One car length. C. Two car lengths. D. Two meters, six feet, six inches. The correct answer is A. A two second time gap. Question 46. Why is it dangerous to leave rear fog lights switched on after the fog has cleared? Give one answer. A. Direction indicators may not work properly. B. Electrical systems could be overloaded. C. The bulbs would fail. D. They may be confused with brake lights. The correct answer is D. They may be confused with brake lights. Question 47. Where should you park your vehicle at night? Give one answer. A. In a quiet road. B. In a well-lit area. C. Near a police station. D. On a red route. The correct answer is B. In a well-lit area. Question 48. When are you allowed to park in a parking bay for disabled drivers? Give one answer. A. When you have a blue badge. B. When you have a wheelchair. C. When you have an adapted vehicle. D. When you have an advanced driver certificate. The correct answer is A. When you have a blue badge. Question 49. What should you do first if your vehicle has broken down on an automatic railway level crossing? Give one answer. A. Get everyone out of the vehicle and clear of the crossing. B. Telephone your vehicle recovery service to move it. C. Try to push the vehicle clear of the crossing as soon as possible. D. Walk along the track to give warning to any approaching trains. The correct answer is A. Get everyone out of the vehicle and clear of the crossing. Question 50. What should you do when you're overtaking a motorcyclist on a windy day? Give one answer. A. Pass closely. B. Pass immediately. C. Pass very slowly. D. Pass widely. The correct answer is D. Pass widely. Please don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe to support this channel. Thank you for watching and good luck for your test.